Okay, this is James P. Madonna from the Facebook group Everything is Food in Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. Before I start the buffet, I just want to say that the person who invented the low flow um, sink faucet, bathroom sink faucet, or kitchen sink faucet, or low flow shower head should not be lynched or crucified but should be pickled to death. Very slow, agonizing suffering in a huge vat of vinegar and spices. They should be pickled to death. Now look at this thing, it's gonna stop shortly. Now it's bad enough that hardly any water comes out to rinse your hands, but it has a very short duration, okay? This is government bullshit from the United States, without a doubt. You know what I mean? I wanna give a shout out to Salvatore Mercurio, my good buddy, uh, my brother from another mother, Commodore Jeff Zambello, Anthony Laura, Ken Thiessen, Mick Von Raven, okay, my uh, illustrious uh, political uh, talk show co-host. Give it one more shot. This is why I use Cyroflex shower heads imported from Italy. High volume shower heads cannot be sold in American stores, but screw the American retail stores. See, look how short. Anyway, I digress from the reason why I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna find out what kind of what kind of uh, gastronomic delights we have here at the uh, Royal Hibachi Buffet. Um, oh, the duck don't look too bad. And I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna hold off a little on the sushi. There he is. The king of barbecue, of Mongolian barbecue. The king. I think it's, uh, I say Del, Del Rey in Spanish, right? R-E-Y. -R I think it's called the king. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. The king of all Mongolian barbecue. The sh true chef. Look at that. Now comes the sauce. All you jabronis out there that are jealous of, of this buffet. Look at that beautiful Cameroon, shrimp, everything. Look at that. And there we go, right on the plate. People better appreciate this man or else I'm gonna take care of him. Beautiful. Beautiful sound, beautiful sight, beautiful smell. Now I'm gonna start eating and uh, come back in the, fu in the very near future. There's a couple items already done. All right, where, where was I? Ooh, holy shit, look at that. You know, well, I don't think that's lamb. I think that's uh, barbecue beef. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't look like lamb to me, but. Doesn't look like, what's this? Wow, that is a big whiting. Look at it. People must have loved it, Commodore Jeff Sambello, because there's nothing left but the skeleton. The old skeleton. Here's Zupa de Pesh. Hey, look at that. in tomato. Hey, the broth, of, the broth of the sea. This should put lead in your pencil, Commodore Jeff Zambello, huh? The broth of the sea. How about that? Now, I'm not quite sure what this is. But it's barbecue. So I don't see any fresh, um, what do you call it? Fresh uh, flounder. But you never know what might come out later on. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Um, mm, I don't. I don't think I can make this a surf and turf. Although you never know. Let's see if there's any calamari. Okay, regular butterfly, butterfly, butterfly shrimp. No coconut batter, but that's all right. All right. 
So we'll do a little surf and turf. All right, a little bit, a little surf and turf. Here's some platanos maduros, but I'm not in the mood. I'm waiting for the calamari, which is probably going to come out maybe 3, 3 p.m., maybe a little later. Oh, God, what do we got? Spinach or... What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's chicken. Ah, forget it. I see chicken all the time. Wow, look at the size of the Brussels sprouts. I better, I better do what I, what I plan on doing. I better get some duck. Even though, hello, hey, how you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Well, what could be going on? The poor guy's working his ass off, right? This is, the hell is this? A hunk of duck. That's what the hell it is. It's gonna grease up my fingers, but it's very tasty. All right, what do we got here? What's that, baby bok choy? What kind of soup we have here? And I wonder if this is the crab soup. The specialty of my chef friend. Yeah, yeah I think that's the crab. The crab or lobster uh, bisque. Bisque. Or is it bisque? Uh-oh. Uh now we're... What do we got? Giant Whiting Grande? I don't know what I don't know what this is, man, but I know it's uh they just brought it out. Look at this giant concoction of seafood. Yeah. That might be the giant whiting. There might be another giant whiting, catch it a day. That's right. I'm gonna make sure I eat this first. You know? Remember, seafood cooks very fast because of, it, because of its water content. And also, you don't want it really to cool down. But you gotta watch the bones. Look at this, look at that. Watch the bones. Romancing the bone which was a, por a porno spin-off of Romancing the Stone, right? Look at that, giant whiting. All right, giant whiting will be no more very soon. Hey, 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 look at that beautiful sight. Look at that work of art. Mongolian barbecue, the jabronis. Another one, look at that. Mongolian barbecue at its best. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. King. He's the king. I'll get sushi later. Son of a gun. Now I'm going back to my seat. Ice cream. Let's see. Let's see how many uh, how many kids let 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 the coldness out of this freezer today. How many fatty arbuckles? Oh, son of a gun. I wonder if did they fix the thing yet? Oh, they did. Oh, this guy's great, man. Look, he, he fixed it. He fixed it. You don't waste time like other, other these cheap asses that own restaurants. This guy's great. He gets right on and he repairs things. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Remember I told you some big fat Chris Christie broke it on the right-hand side? Well, guess what? The owner fixed it because this guy's the best. He's the king. He's the king of all. Uh, son of a bitch. He's the king of all buffets, like he says. He's the chef of the future. All right. Oh look, she gave me a lime. She gave me a lime. I, wait a minute. I wonder if she put rum in there. She put vodka in there for me? No. You put vodka in there? Rum? That's the the, the, mo, the mojito drink from the yes, Caribbean yes, mojito. with rum. Okay, thank you. Okay. Or the other one from Brazil. It's almost the same. Uh, I forgot it. Some Portuguese name. All right, let me get my lemons. 
Let me get my lemons. Where's my famous, my infamous lemon bowl? Well, actually, it's a soup bowl, but Commodore Jeff Zambello. I call it a lemon bowl. Da -da 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 -da. Uh oh. Peso Mojado. Peso Mojado. You gotta be careful here. Oh, oh, good thing I got here now. Oh, they're all limes? Oh, so it's gonna be a very limey. It's gonna be a very limey beverage for me, it looks like. Well, limes are good. We got that south of the border taste. Um, hmm. Very good, man. That's all right. That's all right. I got no problem with limes. The only problem is there's no green. There's no green bowl for me to put the limes in. Okay, a little shot at the dessert. All that fresh fruit. I gotta find out for my. Uh, My friends from the Far East, if what this is, if it's a kumquat, a low quat, you know, uh, uh, a left quad, a right quad, a high quad, or whatever kind of quad it is, I know it's not a lychee, you know. But anyway, this is round one. Oh, look what I see! Look what I see! This is papaya, man. That royal. At Royal Hibachi Grill, Route 46 West in Satterbrook, New Jersey. That is papaya. The magical fruit of the tropics. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Right next to the piña, right next to the fresh pineapple. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Here goes round two. All right, all right. Uh, just want to take a, take a shot at this uh, Mongolian barbecue. Oh, 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 look at that! Look at that beautiful work of art. This guy is the king of all barbecues. Yeah. Camarones. There, there goes the sauce. There goes the sauce. Wonderful, beautiful sound, beautiful work of art, uh, wonderful oh, aroma. Look at those Camarones. I know, King, King Kong Cameroon. King Cameroon. Yes, look at that, look at that, look how beautiful it is. Forget about the... Forget about the the art the art museum. This is this is my art museum right here. What is that? New York Metropolitan of Art, whatever they call it. This is better. Look at that beautiful. Look at that. Royal Hibachi uh, Buffet, uh, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Look at that work of art. Look at that. Hey, right, here we go. And he's gonna he's gonna cut up that marinated chicken breast. I mean that chicken breast with the seasoning. I think he's gonna cut it up soon. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, what's going on on here, man? Well, oh, there's some white tuna. I guess I can get some white tuna. I, I guess I'll get some white tuna. Beautiful. All right. You know what? I don't have much choice to be honest with you. Oh, your mother. Oh, your mother. Oh, your mother. Kimchi, I'm gonna pass. I'm not in the kimchi mood. Hey, Jeff Zambello, look at this. Oh, what am I doing? Looks like that. Looks like that stringy kosher pastrami, huh? Jeff Zambello, the pickled ginger. 
right? Get some wasabi. Can't use too much wasabi, it'll kill you. Come on, get some. Come on, you back Yeah, I know. I, I could do that, but I'm a very clean person. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to. Respect for the other people, you know. I got enough. This is strong. This is beautiful work of art. Mongolian barbecue. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's like being at a festival. All right. All right, now. Some of this. All right, we got that. Okay. Now, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. I was gonna go for something. Oh, they finally brought it out. I think that's the the lamb. Oh, I could be I could be mistaken though. Leg of lamb. Uh, it looks like it. Huh. Here's the Mongolian barbecue station. Look at all this whiting. Look at that. The giant whiting's gone. And I got the little whitings. I don't know. It could be pot roast, though. I, it's hard to say. No, I think it's beef. Yankee pot roast. Well, the Yankees got clobbered by the Red Sox. Which I believe are in first place which I'm very happy very happy about you know what Yankee pot roast I like lamb but you know what are you gonna do all right all right <laughs> if, I, if I don't wish for lamb the lamb comes out I should keep I should keep quiet All right, now, what's next? What is next on the agenda? Oh, uh, next after this is the uh, Zupa de Pesh. You hear that, Commodore Jeff Zambello? I'm gonna go for the broth of the sea. Okay, no calamari. No calamari yet, but I'm gonna grab some of these now you think you think I was gonna grab the Brussels sprouts, but they're too tough when they're this large. They are too tough, but I'm gonna get some cauliflower if if I can find room for the damn thing. I'll get some yellow squash. When I when I eat it, it becomes squish squash, right? Squish squish squash. Commodore Jeff Sambell knows all about that squish squash. He also knows about the um, Duncan Hines uh, Krakatoa um, Lycra spandex going straight up in the air. Right. Speaking of speaking of uh, swamp, uh, the juices of such. Well, the broth of the sea will have to be after this. All right. Get a little bird's eye view. Pickle ginger. There you go. Uh, okay. And here we are. There's the ice cream station. Hard ice cream. Uh, the old R buckles are at it again. Fatty R buckle. Here we go. I hope they don't. I hope they don't let all the the freezer cold out and make my ice cream soft. I don't know. I hope they don't break the handle again. All right, round three. All seems to be quiet here. I see some. Uh, broiled salmon filet but every time i get cooked salmon i'm not saying it will be it will be like that here but 
well, quite often when I get cooked salmon, it's too dry because salmon has to be cooked rare to medium rare, like a good steak. And it's sitting on the warmer tray, which means that it slowly becomes well done and thus dry. Same thing with cooking tuna steak. Same thing with cooking tuna steak, same thing happens. You, you cook it properly, uh, rare, and, and prime rib beef too. You cook it properly, it goes on a warmer tray, and then it pro progressively becomes well done and dry. So, will I be taking a chance? Uh, yeah, let me see. You know what? I'll try to tail, I'll try to tail in. Get some omega 3, some omega 3 rich fat. All right. Let's see what we got here. A lot of I bet, this, I bet this, this broth makes an outstanding soup. Okay. Now, here's the problem the clams have fallen out of a lot of the shells. But I'm, I'm serious. I bet this give me give me an idea. Maybe I should just maybe I should just take it as a soup. Zealand green lip mussel. Yeah, it's a shrimp. I guarantee you that this that this broth is makes an outstanding soup. Almost like a Manhattan clam chowder, which is, was actually invented by the Portuguese in uh, Rhode Island. I don't know why they used Manhattan. I guess they wanted to be like a rival of New England style clam chowder, but they should have called it Rhode Island style clam chowder. Yeah, well, what are they gonna do? I don't know. It's a tough call. But I'm sure this broth is very nutritious i mean there's greens in there might even be olive oil according to the the bubbles i mean the circles on on the surface i have an idea but i don't have a spoon hmm interesting let me try something. Just for experiment's sake. All right. Just for experiment's sake. Here we got more Mongolian barbecue going. Sure. Really a work of art. All right. All right. Now, this is, this is a hunch. Being that most of the seafood has exited the shells, it, it has expedited the shells. But I am sure this broth is really good. Okay. Got some nice greens in here, beautiful seasoning, garlic, right? And then the essence of all the different mixed seafood that is in this, in which either the customers have removed them or 
They're at the bottom somewhere. Oh, there's a spoon. What am I doing? Like a jack. Oh, I'm gonna need the spoon anyway, right? <clears throat> Hold on a second. Put the shrimp back in here. Now this is this is common sense, quick decision making here. This is not just me rambling on. You know, I'm actually making a logical um, decision here. Now, being that there's a spoon on the other side. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see what I can find. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at that. The broth of the sea. The broth of the mar. did happen people the customers took all the clams they took all the cherry stone clams on this is exactly what happened that's exactly what happened okay now speaking about the speaking of the general public look at that not good people when they're not home I know they don't do this at home but when they're not home they they don't give a damn have some works of art of the, from the Mongolian barbecue See what happened? Most of the shrimp was, was fished out of the uh, shrimp Alfredo. Thank God I don't work with the general public anymore. But this looks good. I use my head. I realize since so much, so many of the uh, shellfish has expedited the shells, I decided to make a soup out of it. And you know. That's great. Yeah, I mean, you know. Expedite. I like that word. It's like cahoots, which is another funny word. Isn't that right? Commodore Jeff Sambello. Kai, uh, Kai Bosch, cahoots, all funny words. Expedited the shells. That was, that was the, one of the general managers I was talking to. Okay. Fruit, fruit de Damar, the broth of the sea. I got a tail, an oily, omega-3 enriched fatty tail end of uh, fresh salmon, and then various shellfish, New Zealand green lip mussels, some shrimp. Uh, unfortunately, I only have the broth of the cherry stone clams because everyone has confiscated the cherry stone clams. Okay, here we go. The magnificent ice cream station. It is time for ice cream. Let's see what I'm. Oh, look at that! They fixed it. They fit. Oh, rainbow sherbet. Isn't that nice? What am I gonna have? You know what? Tro Let me see. It's still a heat wave. Oh, wait a minute. They didn't. I don't think they fixed anything. Wait a minute. I don't think they fixed. Oh, oh, they still broke. What? They broke it again? Oh, they never fixed it. Oh, I take that back. They never fixed the door. Here I'm saying they fixed it, and 
Oh my god. Ah, let's see what we got here. Ah, yes. Da 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 Chocolate chip mint. I think I already done gigantic photos of everything here, so it's like uh, there's no sense of me taking more photos. Chocolate chip mint ice cream. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I need more ice cream. Oh god. At least it's hard, not soft. There you go, what do you think? High enough? <laughs> oh my god. That's a work of art. That's a work of art. Oh. Chocolate chip of mint. Yeah, chocolate chip. Oh by the way, they didn't fix the handle. Here I thought they fixed it. It's still broke. I was telling you it was broke. <laughs> it's a, it would be a miracle if they fix something right right away. It's more work. You know what they did do? The bulb burned out on the beautiful lamps from Turkey and they replaced that. The uh the beautiful